Hello everyone, I am Aditya here from Jade Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss the concept of creation of a calculation view, making use of an SQL, uh, SQL script and in this we are going to create a, create a particular calculation view with two different uh, tables. So we are going to join the data from two different tables and get it done. So here, uh, so in this session, we are going to discuss about the concept of creation of uh, a, a scripted view, a calculation, scripted calculation view, uh, which will join the data from two different tables. So let's create a, a new one, a new calculation view. I'll name it as CL underscore or say Vishwa underscore CL three two. I'll go for two because we have only two tables now in this particular scenario. Uh, I'll finish it off. And uh, let us consider two tables which will have a common field. So I'm going to select VBA and VBAP here from a schema in which we already have a data. So I'm sure a table which comes from a schema SAP underscore ECC is having the data. And uh, the data depends on the replication. So if the replication is done properly, then the schema will have the data in it. The table under that particular schema will have the data in it. Yeah, this is the one SAP underscore ECC and uh, that's the one and we'll take a couple of fields from this uh, ERDAT. Add this fields finish and then we are going to add few more fields from VBAP now. finish say ok here now we need to write the logic here for getting the logic uh, we have to write this uh, fields and uh, this is how we write it select vbak dot vbln comma vbak dot erdat comma VBAK dot ERNEM comma VBAP dot TRV OG VBAP dot PUSNR VBAP dot MATNR MATNR from VB from after that from you need to write uh, the entire uh, schema name and then the table name so sap underscore ecc is a schema name dot the table name is vbak from inner join sap underscore ecc vbap on vbak dot vbln equal to vbap dot vbln this is how we need to uh, link it and then that's it so now we'll put a semicolon here because that's a syntax here syntax check the syntax 
VB LN. Okay, I guess VB TR VOG is from VB AK. Once again, check that. Yeah, this is fixed. Now here, uh, I'm activating this particular uh, scenario, and uh, once it's been done, we are going to go ahead and uh, execute this and see. So in this particular uh, scenario, we can see that uh, we have the data retrieved from two different tables, uh, which is which is joined in within our, within our own calculation uh, view uh, in the code. And then what we have here is we also can write input parameters here. So input parameters new, and in this input parameters we can create the input parameters for any of the fields. So let's say we will create the input parameter for VBLN. So if we have created a VBLN, so we can give an expression here. I mean, if it's a constant, we can't give an expression, but if it's an expression, we can give some values so that like lesser than or greater than or whatever it might be. So these are the option we can put it in the expression. But in the constant, I'm going for the constant as of now, and I'm taking this as n var care. The length I'm taking as 10 for the you know uh, for that particular VBLN, and then just say okay. Oh, VBLN will say it as S underscore VBLN. Then we can we can say okay. Now here S underscore VBLN is there as a select options or uh, a selection criteria. The input parameters we call it as. So input parameters is given as uh, S underscore VBLN. So we need to write here where we need to write a where condition here where. VB ELN that is VB AK dot VB ELN equal to S underscore VB ELN. This is what we need to give. So here from after in the from we can give something like uh, you can give uh, one input value for which we already have the values six zeros five three double five for this particular value we have the records in this so let's see the data so these are the records which are related to only those values which we have given in the input so this is uh, you know kind of a getting the data based on a particular input is what we can uh, do it like this but input parameters and then we can also put a filter here add filter so we can add the filter here and we can add the filter like on POSNR or something like that so uh, anything like uh, ERNAM or uh, MATNR let's go for MATNR in the MATNR what should be the value the value should be M17 so you want to see only those records in which the uh, you know MATNR value is M17 in the in the in the present output so then we can just execute and we'll get this like this this is what we can do. Okay, is it clear? Like, uh, I mean, like, the, uh, is it making some sense? Now let's start off with the calcul calculation view, making use of uh, three tables on the SQL concept. So I'm creating a new, uh, a new calculated view. So I'm going to go for Vishwa underscore CAL3 and then we have to go ahead with the graphical finish and this we go for select add VBAK so we'll go for VBAK. Uh, we'll select it from the same SAP underscore ECC.
2080 MATWA then we have to go ahead with Mara and Mara we need to go for SAP underscore ECC Yeah, this is the one. So we are taking something like MTART and uh, MEINS. Yeah, two, two, uh, two we are taking from here. So we need to make sure that, uh, that the field which is taken from one table should not be taken from another table. Otherwise, it's, it throws an error. So we could just, we could just, we're going to just say OK now. And write the logic for this. Select pbak dot pbln. I just want to open up this. Okay, now we can see the fields and type it. So pbak dot erdat pbak dot erinem pbap dot matnr vdp dot matwa uh, mara dot mtart meins dot uh, mara dot meins from and write the schema name here sap underscore ECC dot VBAK in a join VB SAP underscore ECC dot VBAP on vbk dot vbln equal to vbap dot vbln in a join sap underscore ecc dot mra on vbap dot vbln no, not VBN, MATNR equal to Mara dot MATNR. This is what we need to write the logic. So, in this, of course, obviously, we can also put the you know what you call uh, input parameters as well. So, you know, basically, yeah, last we need to give it as semicolon here. This is the logic here, and let me execute. And go for raw material, uh, raw, raw data, and this is the raw data that we are getting. And if we observe here, the first two uh, fields are coming from the first table. Second two fields are coming from the two or three second fields are coming from the second table. So VBAK. These two are from VBAK. These are from VBAP, and these two are from uh, V. Uh, MRA table. So these are three three uh, tables from which we are getting the data, making use of uh, uh, calculation view based on SQL script. So similarly, how we have done in the previous project, we can similarly inculcate uh, the input parameters as well into this. So this completes our uh, scenario based on getting the data from three different tables into a calculation view.